All right, Benghazi, we apparently now know who the suspects are and where the suspects are. But if you think they are uh, under arrest right now, well, they are not. To Fox's Adam Housley on why they are not. Adam. That's right, Neil. In fact, our report uh, that came to us a couple of days ago uh, on foxnews.com and, of course, here, talks about how there are a number of men serving right now in North Africa. And what they have found over the course of the last five months is they really had their hands tied. They were first tasked with going and finding out what happened, who were the people responsible. And they did a number of different things to identify those they believe are responsible. In fact, I was told by one of them, we have to check a number of boxes when we do these types of operations. Those boxes were all checked. Then we were told back in to check a second set of boxes above and beyond to ensure that we had the right people involved. They went back, they checked those set of boxes, and then basically handed over the information to their superiors back in January, including what they believe was information on the mastermind they say was handed over on a silver platter, but nothing has been done. And the worry is now that if an operation does come forward, if they're asked to do an operation, that they've been told to basically not do anything and they've lost track of some of these suspects my colleague Jennifer Griffin says 18 have been identified we know from the guys and the sources I've spoken to that one of those is definitely what they believe is the mastermind they have voice uh, voice of him they have pictures they have talk traffic and yet nothing has been done so if an operation goes forward now they're worried about the security that could be there because again they haven't had eyes on all these individuals the last couple of months when they were told not to do anything with it now the president did somewhat refer to this today in the speech it might be in regards to our report that came out a couple of days ago our subsequent reports including the AP suggesting the same thing that the these guys are walking free and have been identified in Libya and have not been taken into custody or, as some of these men will suggest, they should be killed. Take a listen. America cannot take strikes wherever we choose. Our actions are bound by consultations with partners and respect for state sovereignty. America does not take strikes to punish individuals. We act against terrorists who pose a continuing and imminent threat to the American people. And when there are no other governments capable of effectively addressing the threat. We're also told the Libyan government has been supportive and at the same time, Neil, that the FBI investigation is ongoing, but they're basically told they have to stay in Tripoli by the State Department. So the FBI agents haven't even been out to the eastern part of the country since they were there, what, 18 days after the Benghazi attack. So these guys are very frustrated, Neil. And I'm in great reporting, Adam. Adam Housley. Uh, in L.A. Well, instead of throwing these Benghazi suspects in Gitmo, the president renewing his pledge to close Gitmo today. Why, America's Rudy Giuliani has a very big problem with that on 8 p.m., uh, on FM at 8 p.m.